Hey guys, this is Ricardo back here on the Watch With Us channel with my review of the Frederic Constant Vintage Rally Healy Automatic Small Seconds. Now, Frederic Constant has been doing these Healy models for quite some time now, um, and they've really played around with some of the colors and some of the, the designs in terms of the dial but this is the first time that they're giving us a small seconds version of this kind of car inspired, well, not kind of, it's a car inspired design. Um, to really get that, I'll actually start this off by showing you guys the case back. So here we have that Healy um, beautifully etched into the case back of the watch. You have some pines there in the background um, basically the car out there on the open road um, but then you know what let's go back to the front and let's start going through some of the specs on this watch so the watch is 40 millimeters you have a 46.6 millimeter lug to lug you have a 20 millimeter lug width right here where the strap meets the case in terms of thickness, you're looking at 11.3 millimeters thick, so not too thick on this watch. Now, going here to the strap, you have a nice rally, gray rally strap for this gray version of the watch. And the strap actually starts off at 20 millimeters here at the case, and it tapers down to 18 millimeters here at the Buckle. Buckle here has the Frederic Constant logo. All polished. Same thing with the case. The case is basically all polished except for some of that brushed or almost bead blasted and mix of polish here on the etching. In terms of water resistance, we're looking at 50 meters of water resistance on this watch. It actually doesn't come with a screw down crown. Going to the case back, you'll see some information on the watch listed here. Also want to note that this is part of a limited edition. So right here we have number 19 of 888. Going back to the front, in terms of the dial layout, it's a common theme. You have, especially with the Heelys, you have this 12, six, big 12, big six. The small seconds here is incorporated at nine o'clock with a beautiful red tipped well, not red tipped, a beautiful red running seconds hand. At three o'clock, you have a small date window. You have Frederic Constant right below the 12 and Healy right above the six. You'll see that there's some depth here to the dial. You'll see that the outer ring is actually a level above the dial. So the ring that has the 60, the 55, and the 50 on it is slightly above the dial, creates a nice bit of depth. In terms of the indices, you'll see that the indices have a strip of loom running down the center with high polish on either end. In terms of the numerals, it's loom in the center, and you have the polishing on the edges going into the actually before we jump into the eternals you'll also see the hands here those strong strong sword hands with loom within the center of them going to the movement here on the watch we have inside an fc 345 movement it's a base caliber Salita 200 comes with 38 hours of power reserve and 31 joules. As I said, the crown is not screwed down, so here in this all the way in position is winding. 
pull it out one click and you're able actually not knowing let me pull it out the hold way There we go. Here we get to set the time. I didn't quite know if I was at right after 12 a.m. So I didn't want to jump into date. So date is actually your first position here. And you're able to set the date as you see right there. As you can see, it is a kind of small crown. So it doesn't have that little normal lip that you would see here that makes it easier to to grip it and that's actually one of the things that I'm going to discuss as I jump into some of the negatives on this watch first and then I'll jump into some of the positives. As I just showed you, one of the negatives is the crown, I say it's small, but it's not so much that the crown is small, it's more that it's harder to manipulate um, because a lot of times on these crowns you'll see right here there'll be a little divot here on the back end in the case which allows you to to pop your nail in and pull it out but here it's 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 a little bit difficult um, another negative for me is just all the polishing on the case um, over a period of time i know a lot of that is going to show scratches um, because this is a good enough watch to wear on a, a daily basis it has a beautiful dial but knowing that that case that high polished case is going to get so scratched yeah, I, I kind of wish they went the brushed or just took it easy on the polishing and just left it to the some of the trim. Um, I love the application of polishing on the dial, but like I said, the case is just too much. Wish also, as I mentioned, this may be a daily driver for you. I wish it had just a little bit more water resistance. Um, I think it would have been nice to have this with 100 meters of water resistance. That would have been great. But going from there, definitely want to jump into the positives. Of course, this beautiful gray dial, this matte gray dial that they incorporated here into the design. It's really nice. It works really well with the polishing in terms of the indexes and the polished trim around the numerals and even the hands. Everything is just cohesive here. And knowing that there's a lot of gray at play just adding that nice pop of red with the seconds is just was just a beautiful decision in terms of design and then that mixture of the loom which has a little bit of a a a almost creamy color with the decision to make this chapter ring creamy is just it's just really great design and it it the watch just overall was designed really well in terms of the dial. Um, another thing is really a big fan of the strap. That that whole idea of the gray with the cream continues here. You get that creamy stitching here with the gray strap. Um, I mentioned loom. Kind of show you guys some of that loom in there. It's not super strong, but as you can see, actually, let me try it with the other hand. As you can see, it's it's. It's there. Um, wish it was a bit stronger. Let me see if I have my loom on me. There, there we go. Let me power it up a little bit. And we'll take a look now. And there's how that loom is kind of broken down. Not super strong, but it's, it's nice on the watch. What I then want to do now is toss this on my seven and a half inch wrist. So you see how that 40 millimeter case, which is a nice reasonable size, how that wears on my wrist. Here you go. I'll actually fix that a little bit more so it's centered. There we go. Yeah, it actually wears pretty well. 40 millimeters, I think is a nice sweet, sweet spot for my seven and a half inch wrist. So it wears really well. That small thickness, that less than 12 millimeter thickness is nice on this. There's a nice curve as you can see there with the lugs. Um, just overall, it, it, it wears really, really well. But as I stated, there are some negatives, there are some positives, but I really like, I have to say I really like the route um, and the some of the decisions that Frederick Constant made on this watch. 
um, it gives me some hope for some new models and you know some different things that they want to do I love this case I just wish it was brushed I'd love to see this case used more often in more of a brush pattern um, also you know just a little bit more in terms of design when it comes to the crown but overall, I like where they're going with this. I think a lot of people will like this watch. And one of the biggest selling points on this watch is definitely going to be the dial. Um, but overall, guys, that's my opinion on this watch. In terms of pricing, if you do decide, you know what, that this is the watch for you. The watch actually comes in at $1,595 US. So... I, if you're interested, that's what the price is going to be. And you know what? If you're interested, just hit up Frederick Constant or a Frederick Constant authorized dealer near you. But that's it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. I will finish this video by just announcing. I did announce it on Instagram, but I want to announce it on the video as well that I've actually been hired as a contributing writer for Time and Tide. So I have to say that some of the videos, um, in terms of videos for the channel, they're gonna start to come out at a much slower pace. Um, and, you know, it, just, just, just wait and see, guys, bear with me. Um, but uh, it's kind of a, a new pass for me. Um, I'm really dedicating a lot of time to the writing and it's, it's a great experience. Um, but there may be a, maybe a few more videos coming out, but after that, uh, basically I, I just have to say, wait and see guys, um, uh, because yeah, it's just a new path and it's a, you know, wonderful what all of this is kind of, has kind of done for me and I'm very happy where I am right now and it feels great to write, but, um, that's enough about me. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and that's Ricardo signing off. Hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.